Hi, I'm Kronos, and I want to share a tool with you that I built recently that allows you to look into the future of the Bitcoin network from the perspective of miner revenue. As you may know, the Bitcoin block size is limited to one megabyte, which restricts the number of transactions that can be transmitted at any given time. I've built this tool to allow you to graph out what fees miners would be able to collect if that limit were kept in place or removed at different points in time. If you want to play around with this tool yourself, I've put a link in the video description. Let's get started. The first thing you'll notice is the scale. It goes from 2009, which is when Bitcoin was first invented, all the way to 2035. This is a predictive chart. We're looking at what might happen in the future. The, line, the solid line ends at 2017 because that's past data. This is actually data from the blockchain already. The dashed lines is predicting the future. Now the red line is the block reward. Now you, it's kind of strange that it goes from zero up and then down. It's nice that when you mouse over the chart, you can see the numbers up at the top. The reason that happens is because this is the dollar value of the block reward. So in 2009 and 2010, when Bitcoin was worth very little, just a couple cents, even though the block reward was 50 Bitcoins, that's not very much reward per block. Here's the boom in 2013 with the block reward over $12,000 per block. And then we've seen a bit of a decline here. 2016 had a halving, so the block reward went to half to 12 and a half, and we've got a decline from there. The prediction for the block reward is small growth in the price of Bitcoin, and then every four years, the reward is cut in half. The orange line, fees per block, is calculated by taking the average fee and multiplying by the average number of transactions in a block. That's a pretty foolproof way to say, on average, how many fees a miner will be able to collect from transactions in each block. And it's calculated from the chart below that. The blue line is the transactions per block on average, and you can see that rising sharply from zero in 2009. And the yellow line is the fee per transaction. Interestingly, we've seen fees jump up to $0.09 in 2013 on average, then down to $0.05, but as the block started getting crowded, people were needing to pay more fees to get into that one megabyte block. You can see it jumping up to 13 and even $0.19 cents as we approach 2017. So here's the prediction for the future. If the block size stays at one megabyte, I predict fees will go even higher, $0.22, cents, $0.24, cents, etc., because people are bidding to get into that small block size. However, blocks are already nearly full, so you can see the blue line at transactions per block stopping at about 1,600. That's about as many transactions as can fit in a block on average. Not every block can be full because sometimes they're mined almost at the same time, but most of them are full at this time. So this line is pretty much horizontal into the future. So you can see the orange line, fees per block, it's $300 today. And you can see it rising up over time, up $600, $700, because the fees are going up. Now, this is the prediction for keeping the block size limit at one megabyte. As you can see here, click a column to remove the one megabyte block size limit in that year. This is when the chart gets interesting. So let's click this year and see what happens if we remove the block size limit in 2017. Immediately, the fee per transaction, which was at 19 cents, drops. I'm saying it's seven cents. That's because I'm taking the nine cents from 2013, the five cents from 2014, when blocks were not full, and just taking the average and just waving my hands and saying, well, maybe the fees will be seven cents. If you want to customize this chart yourself and put in the fee that you think will be on average when the block size limit is removed, you can actually click this gear over here and do put in your own settings for some of the assumptions that I've made. So as soon as there's no more pressure to get into a block, you can see fees are just stuck at seven cents from then on. But the blue line, the transactions per block, are able to grow exponentially, just as they have been growing over in the past on the Bitcoin network. So here you can see 200 transactions, 300 transactions, 800, 1300, 1600 per block. This is as we're coming up to the limit. If we remove that limit, I predict we continue to grow at that rate. 2000, 2500, 3100. The block size is going 2 megabytes, 3 megabytes, 4 megabytes here in order to accommodate that larger size. And you can see the exponential growth really kicks in as the years go by. Now, if we multiply the fee per transaction by the transactions per block, you can see the impact here on fees per block, this orange line. It actually takes a small drop here when you remove the block size limit because fees go down. It goes from 300 down to 141. Okay, not a small drop, it's actually cut in half. But I'm predicting that will rise to surpass $300 in the future because of the greater number of transactions on the network. 
And you can see the orange line really start to pick up as transactions grow more and more. Now, of course, the red line isn't changed by a block size limit changing unless it impacts the price. So that's one of the numbers that you can tweak in the settings is what kind of price do you predict Bitcoin will have in the future? Let's take a look at removing the block size in uh, 2021, just for example. You can see the fees, which is the yellow line, growing until the block size limit is removed. Then they instantly drop down. I think with no more competition for block space, they'll drop down to a standard seven cents per transaction. Once again, that's customizable in the settings if you want to look at your own version of this chart. You can see the blue line transactions actually stuck here. The exponential growth isn't able to start until the block size is removed. You can really see that's the case if you say 2030. You can see the blue line is stuck, stuck, stuck at 1600 transactions per block, and then the growth is able to kick up. And I actually added a little bit of um, extra growth here. This is pent up demand as people are paying 40, 50 cents per transaction. There's people that are crowded out of that market. They're using other cryptocurrencies or other technologies to make their transactions. But when the Bitcoin fees drop, they'll flood back to Bitcoin. So you can see a big jump there as immediately as the block size is removed. I hope you enjoyed that little tour. Again, there's a link in the video description if you want to play around with those graphs yourself. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to post in the comments below the video. I'm Kronos. Thanks for watching.